So we created this beautiful design in Photoshop. It is a gym website and we forgot to do one thing, which is to create the mobile version. In this video, we're going to be making the mobile version of this beautiful design you see right here. Hello guys, my name is Gabriel and you're welcome to Just Perfect Designs. This is the channel where we teach you how to create stunning websites and graphic designs. You also get free templates for every design we create, even if it is a live website in HTML, CSS or WordPress or even the graphic designs we give you the free contents that you can use manipulate and create your own beautiful designs all right guys so if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and if you like this content don't forget to hit the like button okay you can find the file to this um, website we're creating right now in the description below and if you have any question don't hesitate to ask in the comment section and you can also join our group we have there's, there's a link in the description below it's a facebook group you can get help anytime from that same group so with that being said let's dive into today's video we were supposed to make two parts of this series the part one is supposed to be the photoshop ui design and the part two is supposed to be the live website in wordpress but right now it's going to be three designs or three videos in total because we missed um, the mobile version that we are about to create right now so bear with me please i said two part one and part two but right now it looks like it's already extending all right so please forgive me for that and let's get started right now i have a folder set right here and then um the size is just 375 pixel with um 812 height okay so right here we have the previous design we made so what i'm going to do to save time is i'm going to copy every layer if you've downloaded this already and if you haven't check the video there's a link also in the description below you can download this file but if you have if you have downloaded it you see that i grouped um all the um all the sections so you can actually see which one it is and how you can easily manipulate it to your own taste so now it's going to come in handy for us because what we're going to do now is copy all this layer at once so while the top layer is selected i'm going to hold down my shift and then i'm going to click on the, the bottom layer and um, by default when you download it you might see a lock on this layer in case you're not familiar with photoshop you might see a lock on this um, bottom layer this black layer here so what you can do is just click on the lock itself. Just click on it like so, and it disappears. So right now, while, select, while the top is selected, which is the nav header, all I'm going to do is come down here, hold my shift, and then click on this the last layer at the bottom. So as soon as I get that, I'll just drag, drag and hold it to the next layer, which is the uh, mobile layer that we are creating right now so i'm going to drop it like so and now what i want to do is i want to hide every other ones so i will leave only the stripe and the models here and then also the background which is the black so then i'm going to click on command t which is ctrl t on your own pc command t and i will scale down a bit Scaling down, I'm using the command or control button and then minus, minus, minus. That's what I use. So if you want to reset it back to default, use command control zero. That's if you're not, if you're done with what you're doing. Okay, so right now I'm going to scale this down. Make sure your, um, I don't know how your settings is in your Photoshop, but um, if you're not getting uh a unism um resizing like this please make sure you hold your shift if this is what you are seeing on your own screen please hold hold if this is what you're seeing please hold your shift before you scale this down so i'm just going to scale it down like this and uh, i want to bring it to the model i want the model to come to the middle of this page like so Yes, yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, okay. So after that, I'm gonna click on the enter, enter or return key if you're using a Mac. All 
Okay, as soon as this loads up, next want to what I want to do is after this stripe, I'm going to create a new layer on top of it. And this layer, I'm going to paint it black or precisely I'm using um let me use um one f one f one f uh okay let me use zero two zero two okay zero two zero two zero two is fine for this so i'm going to make sure it, this is your foreground color so i'm going to hit okay and then i'm going to grab the paint bucket tool which is the shortcut for that is g as you can see right here so i'm going to hit paint bucket tool and then i'm going to paint over this let me scale it back up okay just a bit so i'm going to hit just click right click on it to paint over the new layer we just created and then the next thing i want to do is drop down the opacity a bit to about about that let's let's make it around figure of 50. okay so with that the next thing we're going to do is um the hero details i'm going to click on that i'll zoom back out again hit ctrl t so i can see um, what I'm resizing and then I'm going to come in just like so place it in the middle of it okay so I want to zoom this a little bit more somewhere around there it's fine like so <clears throat> excuse me all right, so the next thing you want to do is, um, preferably, I would like everything to be centralized, um, but you can actually, you know, do it like this if you want. But um, the, the thing about this is, so we'll not be confused, we'll get rid of this, this um, border right here. I'm going to hide that, so we don't need that for this section. The text, which is this text right here, we're going to increase the font to about let's do three three is fine in this case then we'll come down to the paragraph and align it to the center okay next thing i want to um give it a line height increase the line height a bit yes that is fine so now i want to align it to the center so with that the way you can do that easily is while this um text is selected while it's selected hold um command control a so it is it will also select the whole artboard and then you just click on this um uh, align horizontal centers right here you click on it and it will be automatically aligned to the center so if you want to deselect the lay um the artboard, all you need to do again is click on command control D and you deselect that. So we are gonna use that for everything right here. So but the first thing I would like to do is to lock this layer since we are not making use of them for now, so we don't mess them up. This one number one. I want to lock this one. <clears throat> then while holding the um command control key. I'll select this, which is the models and the stripes as well, because we don't want to mess with those three layers. And then I was just going to come to click on this lock all right here. So now those layers are locked and we can move them around any mouse you can see right here. So the next thing to do, oh, I forgot to lock one more layer, which is the overlay we created on top of this stripe. So we want to make sure that one too is locked like so okay so the next thing we want to do is um align this text we ain't kidding first i want to bump um, the font size up a bit uh, about four okay i think four is or oh, let's do 3.5 okay so now while it's selected you hold command control a again to select the artboard and then click on this then command control d to deselect the artboard 
So now uh, with my navigation arrow key on the keyboard, I'm just going to push that up a bit. Yeah, about that is fine. So even the um the text learn ipsum test right here, which is the um heading, I want to bring that down also a bit with the navigation arrow key. All right. So of course you do, your button is not going to be this small. It doesn't make sense, right? So what we're going to do right now is um when we are creating the website, we want this to stack to be on top of each other. So this one, okay. But first, um, let's resize them to the size that we want. So what I've, I've, I'm selecting, in fact, the better way of doing that is to select um, the buttons. So we have the pr um, previous button and the get started button. Both of them are selected right now. And then use Control Command T to select both like so and increase it to the exact size you'd like to have on. The finished um, live version so if you're happy with that hit enter or return and then the previous button only the previous button i'm going to hit command t and then bring that down a bit like so yeah make sure it is aligned in the center like so i'm going to hit ok or return again then the second one which is the get started button Select that command control C also, and then you bring that like so again. Always make sure it is well aligned to the center. So we're going to move this up a bit to the previous button. I'm using the navigation key to move it upward a bit. And um right now I observe that we've lost um the radius, the full radius on this. So I'm going to click on um the um the button itself which is the background right here and come down here and then increase it to about let's say 30. okay so it is nicely rounded now we'll do the same thing for the dark version of it come down and say 30 as well okay so it is well this is the highest number they can go so that's why it is resizing or um re yeah resizing the, the radius so this is how far they can actually go. So this is already looking great, guys. This is awesome. So what I want to do next is I just want to move everything down a bit. Like so. About that is just fine for this. And one thing we are forgetting to do is this main text, the keeping fit is serious work. This main text right here. Now we want to make sure it is also um, aligned to the center in the paragraph. And then while it's selected, we hold Command Control A to select it with the artboard, the artboard, and then click on this again so that it will be centralized perfectly well, just as you see right now. So guys, with this, I believe we are done with this. Uh, I think I'm going to bump these two buttons up a bit. I think the margin between them is too much. All right, so guys, we are officially done with this design. And um, oh, one more thing, uh, we are not done yet. The nav header, which is this right here. So I'm I'm going to select this. I'll zoom out. He use my command control T, and then bring this down. Yeah. So what I'm I need right here now is just the logo. The logo is the only thing I need right here. So I'm going to resize this until I'm satisfied with the size of the logo. I think about that is fine. So I'm going to come back up like so with command zero. And then I'll align this logo where I'd like it to be, which is probably somewhere around. Oh somewhere around i'm using the navigation key on the keyboard to adjust this okay somewhere around there is fine and um the next thing i want to do is i want to hide the other um, con um content which is this button i'm just gonna hide it like so although it's not showing because it's outside this uh work area this outboard here but 
let's just still hide all of them, leaving only this gym, the only the logo like that. So we're gonna hide every other thing under. Don't forget, it's everything under um the nav header group. So everything under the group except the gym logo. That's the only thing we are not doing. So right here inside the same group, we'll create another layer inside the group. And in this layer, what we want to do is use our pen tool, pen tool. So um, with, we're going to keep the fill at none, no fill. And then the stroke, we're going to give it this uh, color, our orange color or whatever color it is. And um, I think about two should be fine or three. Three pixel Y should be fine. Then let's um, give this. So I'm going to right here, I'm going to click on this once, then hold my shift, come down here, hold with my shift hold so that it will go straight. And then I'm going to click again. So I get this nice um, line right here. So with that, I'm going to select the shape, which is the shape tree right here. And then I'm just going to dupl duplicate it two more times. So I'm using Control J to duplicate. That's Command or Control J. Or you can simply duplicate by you know, right clicking and you see the duplicate there. But to make this faster, I'm just going to do Command J or Control J. And then I, with my um, navigation arrow on the keyboard, I'll bring this down like so. And then Command Control J again and bring this down like so. So right now, what I want to do next is make sure the logo and um, everything is centered, aligned well. So I'm using my arrow, my rulers rather, to do this. Uh, okay, so I'm going to select these three and then make sure they are well aligned with the navigation arrow on the keyboard and then i want to make sure they're also aligned with the logo so i'm going to do that you can actually zoom in more so you could see what you're doing very well okay yep. So guys, this is the final version of the mobile view. So this is how the mobile view is going to look like when we finish the WordPress um, live edition of this particular website. So I hope you're going to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified as soon as I drop the live version. It's going to come in tomorrow, latest by tomorrow. As um, um, Speaking of tomorrow, today is 17th. I'm making this video on the 17th. Um, I might probably upload it uh, maybe on the 18th. I don't know yet, but as soon as it drops, the following day, I'm dropping the live version for uh, on the WordPress as well. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has taken their time to subscribe to this channel. It supports me a lot and I really, really appreciate. I hope you like this design. See you later for the live version. Peace. Mm -hmm.